Hey guys, RDT back here for another video. Guys, today we have an unboxing of the Google Pixel Fold. Yes, the brand new Pixel Fold that just came out. Um, I'll be honest with you, I was not expecting, you know, I did not know what to expect when I picked up this phone because the main reason why I say that is because it's so different than any other form factor I have ever used. Now, of course, I've not used the Oppo Find N2 or obviously the brand new Find N3. And I've also not used any of those like China foldable phones. So my experience with foldable phones really comes down to a couple of different ones. It comes down to the Surface Duo 1 and 2. It comes down to the Galaxy Z Fold series. So when I pick this phone up, the first thing I'm thinking about is, okay, so this outside display is gonna be a lot bigger. How much bigger is it actually gonna be when I hold it in my hand? How comp, like how, you know, how much am I able to actually maneuver around it, right? And so that was definitely a question. Now, starting off right away with this unboxing, you can see that we do end up getting a charger and the cord in a separate Ziploc bag. Now, this obviously is the phone on your screen right here, and they definitely wrapped it up very interestingly. Now, I will say overall-wise, this thing was hot when I got it. Um, I don't know if it's because it was sitting outside in a box, but this thing was absolutely flaming heat wise so kind of skip of that for a second because obviously it does have an inside plastic display but it looks like everything ended up okay on my part for when it comes to this now of course the user did go ahead and the seller did go ahead and include a case so very nice of them to go ahead and include a case here and i'll be honest with you the case is not really that bad it's actually a pretty solid case i'm actually <clears throat> not really having too much of a problem with it and if I go ahead now and just try to turn this phone on, you're going to see I actually have Struggle City with it, okay? I did not realize that the power button for this phone is actually the top button, not the bottom button. The bottom button is actually the volume rockers. The top one is the power button. Now, overall-wise, let's go ahead and take this case off. Let me see if I can pop this bad boy off so we can kind of see that beautiful logo of Google down below it love to see that but i will say overall wise in terms of cases there's not many cases out there which is really surprising especially when it comes to like major sellers like um best buy target walmart this is a very niche device even though google released it there's still not as many choices out there when it comes to cases which again like i said i found it very very interesting now, I will tell you right now, opening this phone up without a case that gives you like that little grippy on the back to pull it open is absolutely awful. 1000%. Like, I could not get this phone to open unless I had that grippy part of the case. I don't know, maybe that's just the first time using it and that's why, but it was absolutely awful. Now, of course, yes, the age old myth does this phone fold completely like 180? No, it does not. It, there is. It is a little bit bent, which of course is what a lot of people have complained about because it's not like the Z Fold series phone. It's not just straight up, you know, straight across, no big deal. This is of course a little bent. But I will say overall, my first impressions is this feels very, build quality wise, this feels amazing. This feels very premium. I like the feel to it. And again, like I said, you can see right there, opening this up without a case or anything is so difficult. With the case, I can do it one hand, no big deal. But without a case, it's, it's definitely a problem. Now, I'm going to compare it real fast here to a Z Fold 5. Obviously, the best iteration from Samsung here. And to be honest, it's very similar when you hold it horizontally. Vertically, it's absolutely nothing the same. But horizontally, it's very, very similar for the inside display. Of course, both of them does have a crease. And you see right there, it does not actually fold 180 like Samsung's phone does. So again, like I said, very interesting. Just kind of my first thoughts and opinions. I'll do some reviews and um, you know look into it more as we go throughout the next couple of days. But this will become my daily driver. The last 24 hours, it was actually the Surface Duo 1 again. So um, I'm kind of excited going from the Surface Duo 1 to the Z Fold. Oh, P Google Pixel Fold. Dang, already forgetting the name, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.